Hello, my name is Jeff Brown, and welcome to another episode of Music on the Rocks. I come to you every Wednesday, or at least most Wednesdays. Last week had some mitigating circumstances, but most Wednesdays coming to you with a little bit of whiskey, a little bit of music, some stories, some jokes, some wisdom, or whatever it is that comes out of my mouth that tries to approximate wisdom. Coming to you every Wednesday to share some moments and some whiskey with you. Just me and my guitar and occasionally my dogs. My dog is actually sitting right there, lying next to me on the couch. So this song is going to date me tremendously. It was based on, I'm not sure if it even still exists, but many moons ago, Facebook had various relationship statuses, and one of which was my favorite. I don't know if it's still around, but it's, it's complicated. And roughly around 2008, 2009, I was in a relationship that, for lack of better terms, could be best described as complicated. And this is what came out of that. I mean, a lot of things came out of that. But this song came out of that. And I had a moment when I was writing this song where it originally had a lot of had a lot of internet references and things like that, and uh, I quickly realized that I wasn't sure if it was a funny song trying to be serious or a serious song trying to be funny, and I ultimately was concerned that it wasn't going to be either, so I dialed it back substantially and ended up with this. Consider it a blessing Every moment that we share And I would shout from every rooftop If it could make you more Maybe this is too much Or too little or too late But I wish that I could tell you At any rate That I It's complicated Well, I scan your face for a single clue A message of my fate I 
I'm just caught up in the moment And my fear and all my Let's give it a try Cause I love you And I just don't have the words The words are overrated And simple never felt quite right Would you be mine? It's complicated Everything is so complicated And you and me are so complicated I love you and I just don't have the words The words are overrated And simple never worked quite right Would you be mine? It's complicated go one from the vaults it's complicated that was the music on to the whiskey but before then I do want to uh, make a special note of uh, this super awesome piece of guitar pick jewelry it was made by a gentleman in North Carolina named Jeff Brown and while a not insubstantial part of my purchase of this is to be able to go around and say, Jeff Brown made this, and have people say, why are you speaking in the third person? And have me reply, I'm not. A much larger reason why I bought this is because it's freaking cool. So look up Jeff Brown. No, not not this one. The other Jeff Brown. No, not not that Jeff Brown. The other the other other Jeff Brown. I will put his link in uh, the video if you're interested in having awesome hand painted red guitar pick jewelry. But for the time being, we have music. We have a little bit of art, and now we have the whiskey. Continuing on with my journey through the Grange Stone Distillery. We had the 12 year aged, and then we had the bourbon barrel aged, and this week we have the rum cask aged. So it was aged as a traditional Scotch whiskey, and then finished in a previously used rum barrel. So, uh, my friends, from me to you, be well, be safe. Be a little complicated. And cheers, my friends. Oh, you could smell the rum cask on this one. This is very, it feels very thick, very syrupy almost, a little like molasses and brown sugar and such. Hmm. 
So previously, previously with the Grangestone bourbon finished, I didn't really get a lot of the the bourbon notes. Uh, that is not the case here. I am getting a lot of the rum barrel. I don't know if it was. I don't know if it was just you know more more prevalent or if it was aged longer or just I don't know. Either way, this is very heavy on the, this is a rum barrel and I want you to know it. This is nice. I'm, I'm not always a huge fan of the rum barrel uh, finished, with the exception of, boy, that Glenlivet Caribbean rum. Oh my god. Oh. That was bananas. I mean, it wasn't bananas. It was more like other tropical fruit. Not the point. Uh, it was very good. This is also quite delicious. So, huzzah to that. One more week left in August. One more week left in the Grangestone 4 set. We have the Sherry Cask, and uh, as someone who is usually a big fan of the Olorosos, I'm looking forward to that. Also, I should notice that uh, these were, uh, were given to me by a dear friend of mine. If you are interested in that sort of thing, send me a message and we can figure something out because I definitely don't want to encourage you to send alcohol via the post because I live in Virginia and that's super illegal. But we can figure it out. In the meantime, have a spectacular week, everyone. Be well, and I'll see you on Wednesday.